Hey there friends, I'm Melanie and you're watching AKA Mommy. And today's video is a continuation of the series that I'm doing here on my channel called Finding Joy, where I am going through my entire house and using the KonMari method to declutter, purge, just basically get rid of all of the unnecessary things that we own and that do not spark joy within us. And then later during the series, we will be organizing. But before I go any further, if you're brand new to my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for coming back. Okay, guys, so today's video brings me mixed parts anxiety and anticipation i think i'm i'm equally nervous and excited about this it's kind of strange but today we are going to start the process of tackling the category paper um this category seems really large to me and maybe i'm maybe it won't be as big as i'm thinking but if you guys saw my video where i did books I didn't think that was going to be a big deal. And then when I got all of my books spread out in front of me, I got a little bit like overwhelmed and I started feeling things that I hadn't expected to feel. So going into this particular step, already having a little bit of anxiety, I have a feeling this is going, I'm going to experience those same feelings of being overwhelmed. But when this step is completed and I finally have this category under control in my home, I have a feeling that it is going to make a huge difference in the way that I feel even on a day-to-day -day basis because I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I feel like the amount of paper things that I have in my home is just, I feel like I'm drowning in them and it's, it's just, it's not a good feeling. So, I'm going to be sharing with you the different um, areas that I currently have paper items stored in my home. And when I say paper items, that is a, it covers a lot. I mean, I literally mean coupons, flyers, taxes, bank records, um, any medical files that you may have. Um, what else? Warranties that you have on appliances in your home. Oh my goodness, the list could go on and on and on. So that is what I'm going to be tackling today. This is probably going to be a longer video, but I'm going to try to keep it a little bit shorter. No promises. You guys know how I like to ramble. Um, but first, let me go ahead and show you where I keep the bulk of the items that I'm going to be going through today. And when you see the state of this area, you'll understand why it gives me anxiety because it organized isn't even... I, I can't say it's completely unorganized because you'll be able to tell in these clips that... I have made attempts in the past to keep these areas organized, but when you have too much of something, you it just, you can't keep it organized. You need to have an organizing system that works for the quantity of items that you have. And the quantity that I have in these areas is just too much. It's overflowing and I need to figure out a better system. So my system today is going to be get rid of all of it. <laughs> so. I have done a little bit of research and I have looked up, you know, what I should keep and what is okay to toss. And I'm really going to be ruthless today, you guys. I'm just, I'm done with all of this. It causes me so much stress. So I've rambled on long enough. Let me flip the camera around and take you over to my office area that I have in my bedroom where I house the majority of the paper that comes into our home. All right, guys. So I did not tidy this area at all before I'm showing you all of this. So if there's anything embarrassing in here, I'm probably gonna be mortified. Um, okay, first of all, this little corner of my room is what I consider to be my office type area. This is where I get, um, just this is where I come when I need to work. So um, this is also where I store all of our household papers, anything that we need basically to run our home efficiently. And then apparently lots and lots more that I don't need. So starting with my desk. As you can see, this is the kind of stuff that randomly collects. Just just 
piles of stuff, right? So in this desk drawer, it is a mess. Um, yes, it is a complete mess, but I have some things in here. I'll be going through this one right here because that is receipts. And then I don't think, I don't know, is this considered paper? These are like little notepads. I'm not really sure. I'm a little bit unclear, but I'm going to do my best. Eventually this is going to be much more organized, but we'll do what we can today. Then switching over here, this, I love this, but it needs to be functioning for me a little bit better. So starting in this top drawer, um, I just have basically stuff, right? It's just stuff. So there, we're going to go through that. This is where I keep all of my um, coupons and whatnot. So I have a bunch of stuff down in there that I'll be going through that I need to pull out of there. Um, yeah, just all kinds of stuff. Here again, notebooks, literally paper, stuff down in there to go through. Okay, this drawer I will not be showing you because everything that is in it is basically bills and that has my address all over it. So, um, this one I will not be going through today, but I will be going through at some point. This will be in the electronics um, section, so there's that. Close that. And then we have everything over here basically just more stuff. There's these two magazines that I decided to keep. Oh goodness gracious you guys. It's just more and more and more. It just never, it, it just, oh it never stops. So we have coupons over here and just all kinds of miscellaneous. This is the area that stresses me out, okay, because it's a jumbled mess. You guys probably cannot tell from looking in this, but this has been organized. Like, these are extremely deep drawers, and I do have some organization going on in here. So, basically, I'm going to be pulling it out and figuring out what to do about all of this. This, oh, goodness gracious. You guys, tell me you have a drawer that looks something like this in your home. These are the majority of the files that I will be going through, and I am thinking that 99% of that will be gone because a lot of it is very old. Warranties, binders that I believe are actually empty and so forth and so on. So we have, hold on, we have a couple of additional areas in our home that we keep things. Um, but I even going into this, I have a feeling that I'm forgetting things. So I'm going to take as much time as I need. Like, I'm going to take a good solid half an hour or more if necessary to really look through the areas in my home where I even think there might be papers. And I'm going to collect as many of them as I can because I really don't want to get further down the line in this process and open a drawer or a cabinet and go, oh, I thought I got all of the papers. You know what I mean? So I'm really going to take my time and go through everything and collect it all here on my floor and then I'm probably going to have a small heart attack but then we're going to be strong and we're going to focus and we're going to we're just going to go through this. So I will also say that I am fully aware that this this particular step in the process may take me more than a day. It depends. It really kind of depends. I mean, I have kids here at home with me and they are my um primary concern. I mean, like if my kids need me, I have to take care of my kids. So um I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that to you guys because one of my biggest concerns moving into this and deciding that I wanted to do this process was when am I going to do this? Like a nap time? It doesn't it didn't seem like enough time. So I'm going to do as much as I can even with my children here and I wanted to give you guys like that full honest, you know, it can be done with kids around. It can. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to prove it. So I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to start collecting things and my room is about to become a total disaster. I will let you know just as a, yeah, when you start the KonMari process, you can fully expect to have this kind of craziness going on in your home um, because, yeah, it's just, who knew that organizing, actually you had to make a mess in order to get organized. So I'm going to get started. We're going to do this together. Let's do this, guys. Okay, guys, so I've collected everything that I could find in my home. Um, I hope that this is everything. I looked everywhere that I even thought there might be papers. I even looked in my kid's room. And because I did that, I found more books. That's actually a puzzle, but books. So 
The majority of these will actually be purged because um, my kids, they've been up in the closet for easily a year. And I don't know, I'm gonna go through those. But that, that's my point, is that I don't wanna come back later and find a drawer full of papers and have to figure that out. But if it happens, it happens. And I'm not gonna stress about it. I know that what I have sitting here in front of me is the bulk of what I have in my home. So I, to be honest with you, I'm not really surprised by what I, what I have here. Um, I kind of thought it was going to be more, but I do know that I have my work cut out for me because this is a process that I'm going to have to sit and pick up every single piece of paper and figure out what to do with it. So let me show you what I have here. Um, I have it all spread out on the floor. So let me just pan around here. Um, okay, so starting over here, I don't, this is just a hodgepodge of stuff, so I can't even really tell you what all of this is. Um, some of the things that you'll see sitting out, like this right here, that is actually some office supply, um, but it was in that, so I went ahead and pulled it out, and I'm not going to be purging any of that today. It will go in a separate container, but I figured it would be easier to go ahead and pull it out now and put it in a separate container. That way, when I get to that step in the process, it's sitting there waiting for me. So I have more stuff here again that's mostly wires and stuff but it was just in that drawer so I pulled it out and then it just goes all the way over here now I have pulled out my planners and my planner stickers and supplies because I mean I would assume that stickers are considered paper so I'm going to be going through all of this it's probably going to take me quite a while but I'm dedicated to doing it I'm determined and I have coffee <laughs> so I mean really what more do we need um my kids are watching a movie right now it's Saturday by the way so um we're kind of taking it a little bit easy today at least the kids are I'm gonna do this I'm going to do this I'm determined and I'm gonna be so happy when it's done so I have a huge black trash bag sitting right over there to throw away trash I do own a shredder a paper shredder so anything that I feel can't be put in the trash, we'll go through the shredder. And um, yeah, we're gonna make some decisions. So here we go, let's get organized. One more thing that I did wanna make sure that I made mention of before I get started is that I have a feeling that this is going to be um, a several step process. So what I have done is kind of set myself up just to sort through everything first. So I have these two um, little bins or whatever they're called sitting here in front of me one of them will be designated to items that i feel like i need like immediately or soon um being like current bills and things like that the other one i'm not sure but i'll figure that out when i start going through here and i also have a basket here this will probably be for items like um the office supplies that technically don't even belong in this category but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just sort through things and get them a little bit more um, in, in, a, in a category like all together because I have warranties in like three separate stacks if that makes sense. So the, that's the first step that I'm going to do because this is going to be a process that takes several steps I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get started sorting. Just a little black spot in my heart and then it kept spreading through my body when you tell me it don't matter what you do I think I'm over you So I will take on the world again tonight I will take on the world again tonight We pushed our luck all in overdrive We tore the roof right out of the sky You made me promise not to end so I So I wanted to hop on here really quick and go ahead and show you the final product um, for this step when it comes to my um, papers category. Now, what I have been able to do, I'm happy with. 
at this stage. However, I know that this is not how I'm going to want to keep it long term because it still is not perfect. Um, but what I'm thinking is much later down the road, whenever I come to the organization step of this, which comes after the entire house has been tidied, I will be making some changes to this, but for now it's working for me. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you what I was able to accomplish. So let me turn the camera around and share that with you. Guys. Okay guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and start with my desk. Um, there's not a whole lot to share with you in here. Yes, this is still a cluttered mess, but there is a time that I will be going through what would be considered office supplies or you know desk. At this point, I was only working on paper, which included receipts. So I am still holding my receipts for the month in here. Um, basically, once I have gone through and made sure that everything has cleared as it should have out of our bank account and so forth, then these will get shredded and they will no longer be here. But I do collect them for a full month and then I handle that at the very end of the month. And then over here, I just have some notepads that I can use. Notepads, sticky notes, that sort of thing. Just a very small collection of them um, in case I need to jot down a note while I'm sitting at my desk. Those are the only two areas that I handle within my desk. Not a lot changed in here. I took out several of the notepads and just left a few of them. Um, but I'm happy with the way that that's working. This is another story, but that will be for a future video. So we will shift this way. Let me go ahead and address this. So in the past, I have done our billing, um, in, like not our billing, our paying our bills in several different ways. I have done online, I have done paper. This is what I'm currently doing and I don't wanna show you guys too closely because it does have account numbers and whatnot on it. But this is just a file folder that I picked up at Walmart. And what I have done is I have divided everything inside. Um, I could unzip it and show you, but as you can see, it has numbers on it to um, correspond with the dates that things are going to be due. Let me just open this up and show you. Okay, so that's a bit of a better look. Um, so as I said, there are numbers here to show when everything is due and what I Okay, so I will just pull everything out about a week before it is due, write a check and send it off because that's how I'm choosing to pay our bills right now. I don't know if I will go back to the online banking or not. I haven't really decided. I'm trying this. Uh, because it's what suits my needs right now. And then the ones that I have in the front are just the ones that I need to actually work on today. So let's shift over to this little file cabinet. The, there are only two drawers in here that hold any type of paper. Um, this top one right here. And the only things that this is now holding is a to-do pad. Um, this is the notebook that I used to use anytime I would make a grocery list, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm currently using. So that's still sitting in here. And then I have coupons down below that in a plastic sleeve so that I don't lose any of them and they're not just kind of shuffling all over the drawer. So there's that drawer and then the very, the only other one that has paper is actually this one right here. I do have, um, a little container in here and it is holding printer paper as well as some loose notebook paper but that is the only thing that is in that drawer. These other drawers all hold different things that will come at a different time. And so let's shift, well let me just go ahead and show you. This is what I'm currently using to plan in. I really like it. I picked it up at Target. Um, no, I didn't pick it up at Target. Where did I get this? This is from Michaels. I apologize guys. Um, I really like it. I'm giving it a try. It actually has a spot in here for, let me just show you this week. Um, whoa, hello, come back. Um, okay, so this week, this is kind of what we have going on. Um, and it has a spot for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then right on the opposite page, you have a spot for a shopping list, which I really like. Um, and I'm just giving it a shot. It was pretty inexpensive and it, I thought it was really cute. So I'm giving it a try. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to film this in the middle of the day and you know, I have kids, so <laughs> that's just kind of life. So, um, this is my Erin Condren planner that I'm still using. And then this is a planner that I'm using specifically for YouTube. I didn't do anything with either of those. This is what I am currently currently using to plan out my days and then we will shift over this direction. So this is, I don't know if this would be super approved for Marie Kondo 
or not. Um, but this is basically where I put all the papers that come in on a daily basis. I will put them in here and then in the evening or the very next morning, I'll empty everything out of here. So this is basically my needs attention box. Um, I try not to let it go more than a day because it can get extremely full. But these, this is the mail that came in yesterday that I need to open and sort through. Um, and it just sits there just so that I have a place to corral everything that isn't necessarily my desk. So this file cabinet down below here was the biggest issue for me. It was a complete jumbled mess because the drawers in it are extremely, extremely deep. Again, I'm not a, a hundred percent satisfied with, you know, this is not the end result, but I'm okay with it how it is now. So in this top one, basically what I have, um, I get rid of a lot of stuff. This is a home, home organization type binder. It has um, just some important papers in it that I will need to reference occasionally, but not every day. Um, this is just some office supply type things, office supplies, um, Scentsy wax. This is basically a, a uh, tote that I have full of extra notebooks. I had a lot of them. I pared down quite a bit. I'm going to hold on to these for now. I have plans for some of them, for some of them not so much, but we're gonna keep them for now. Up here in the front, this is actually study material that I have, and this one is just a another notebook, but it wouldn't fit in this container. This is my marriage license, and this is our, um, what is it called, birth certificates and so forth. So important documents there. And they're just in here for now, but I can actually see where everything is. It's not overly cluttered. And so I'm happy with that. This drawer is the one that underwent the biggest transformation. In this side, I now only have envelopes. These are also envelopes, but I ripped the top of the box off so that I can just reach in and grab what I need. Um, here I have our, um, address book. This is an Erin Condren address book, but um, you'll see that I put that there because this is all stationary related mailing um, accessories and so forth. So anything, if I'm going to mail a letter or a note or anything like that, this is where I would come. Mail a package. So I have all of that stuff in here. And you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, this is actually my old planner from last year. That's not the the address book. This is my address book. So this is our family address book and it's in here with all of the mailing supplies. This is my planner from last year that I want to hold on to for reference. This is um, my receipts from December just in case I need those. Uh, we did make some rather large purchases and so I'm going to hold on to those for a little while longer. And this is legal paperwork that I have um, regarding my two oldest girls because I do have custody paperwork and so forth and I had to hold on to all that. So that's what that is. Down here we have an unopened pair of headphones, my son's Kindle, and that is it. I can very clearly see everything that is in this drawer. It's very easily accessible and I know where everything is at all times and so I don't have to go searching for anything. So I'm very happy with how that one turned out. So that's gonna be it for this category, you guys. I hope that it has been helpful in some way. I know that the category of papers can be very daunting. It can be very overwhelming. And if you're anything like me, I absolutely dreaded pulling all of this stuff out. It was a lot. It definitely took me a while to go through everything, but when it was all said and done, I got rid of probably 75 to 90% of what I had stored because bottom line, I just didn't need it. I was holding on to things that were unnecessary. So it feels really good to get rid of all of that and to lighten the load, you know, as far as paperwork here in my home. Um, the next category that you're going to be seeing will be my homeschool um, materials. Again, I'm not looking forward to this one primarily because I know it's going to be a significant amount of work to pull it all out. I have a feeling once I get it all sitting in front of me, it's going to go rather quickly um, because I already know that a lot of the materials that, that we have for homeschooling, I don't use which is sad, but that's the purpose of going through this entire process. So that is what you will be seeing next in this category. Um, it'll probably be a week or so, maybe a little bit less before that video goes up, but I am going to be sharing that 
immediately after this video as far as what comes next in this series. So again, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you yourself are going through the KonMari process within your home. And if so, how do you feel about it? I mean, this process, this journey has brought up a lot of emotions for me. And so I'm really appreciative of that. I'm really enjoying that, but it's also kind of hard. So anyway i'm gonna um let you guys go i i appreciate all of you taking the time to watch this video and i hope that you are all doing very well and that you're very blessed talk to you soon guys bye